Today I have a few dead Tesla Model 3 2170 cells I need to bring back to life. I bought a Tesla Model 3 battery module a while back. There are about 1000 cells in this module. The car was involved in an accident and the collision came all the way into the battery compartment and sorted out part of the battery module. Most of the cells are fine, only a small fraction of the battery module was damaged. These cells came from the damaged part and they are all very discharged almost all the way down to zero. The whole group here that is connected in parallel of the cells are sorted out and the voltage goes below 1 volt. 0 0.39, 0 0.38, 0 0.36, 0 0.36. So right now the battery voltage it's 362 millivolts. That is very low to a point where I put it in a charger, it will not charge. My charger does not recognize the battery. So is it possible to revive all of these dead cells? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. The very first thing we have to do is to raise the voltage of the dead battery up to a point where the charger is able to recognize the battery and start charging. There are a few ways you can do this. You can use a 5 volt USB phone charger. You can use a regular 18650 lithium ion battery. Or you can just use another good Tesla 2170 cell. And I can even use the very charger I usually use to charge the uh, Tesla 2170 cells. If they are good, that is. The only difference now is to set the charge to either nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium so that it only charges up to one and a half volts. Once the dead cell goes up to one and a half volts, now you can change the setting to 2S or 2 in series to charge it to up to three volts. Once the dead cells go up to three volts, now you can change the setting again to lithium ion option and it should charge as normal. But because that's too much work and I'm too lazy, I'm just going to use the easiest way to do this. And that is by using a good 18650 lithium ion to charge all of this at the same time. You see, I used to live in a country where there were a lot of lazy people. I got used to it. And that country is called procrastination. Anyway, so here is the plan. I put four of these in parallel in my Frankenstein battery holder. I made this last week and uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see how it's made. And right now they are at a very low voltage and they are all at 0 0.38 volts. I've got a good 18650 cell ready and now it's at 3.78 volts. So I'm just going to connect parallel to all of these uh, depth. 170 cells goes down to two and a half volts and rising so I'm just gonna let it connect for about 30 seconds or so all right it's been about 30 seconds and now it's at almost 3.1 volts so I'm just gonna disconnect and you can see the voltage of the 18650 immediately goes up to about 3.6 volts. Now we can double check on the uh, voltage of the dead cells here. 2.46 so that's a good sign. Alright I got my charger ready. Now let's put it in the charger. Let's see what we got here. This first one. Come on. Charging. Second one. Charging. Third one. Well, this one's got a problem. Let's try the last one. Actually, it's charging. It just doesn't have a good connection here. Actually, it's finally charging here because it, it doesn't have a very good connection. And now you can see these two are charging fine at 500 milliamps. That's normal. 
this one is full even though it's only about uh, two minutes this one is only charging at 76 milliamps that's a huge difference and the difference here is because let me show you the voltage here see the voltage of this is 2.2 something volts this is 2.29 volts this is a lot higher so the charger is thinking these two uh, nickel metal hydride and uh, it stopped charging because it is it's over 2 volts these two cells here are charging normally and that's because the voltage of the two batteries are high enough so that the charger would recognize that these are lithium ion and not nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride now if we go back right here you see the voltage is actually rising and let's see what is charging right now you see the charging rate is 500 milliamp instead of very low right before like 72 milliamps so uh, I think the voltage actually raised high enough so that now the charger automatically recognize that this is lithium ion and not nickel cadmium and now for this one here it is full let's see the voltage now it's 2.1 volts so I think I need to raise the voltage of this to be a little bit higher so that it would charge as a lithium ion instead of uh, nickel cadmium so now for this one here we're just gonna boost it up just a little bit so maybe another 10 seconds or so because there's only one right now all right it's been about 10 seconds or so double check here 2.8 volts so it should be good right now so let's just try it all right 2.84 charge at 500 milliamps it's charging let's double check the voltage now 2.84 and it's charging charging rate 500 milliamp so it's working and because these batteries are way too big I'm gonna change the charging rate to 1 amp so that would charge faster all right so I've let it charge overnight and now it's full and the battery voltage now is 4.18 volts capacity that puts into the battery is about five and a half amp power five and a half amp power on average these batteries are rated at five amp power and five and a half amp power is a little bit more than its rated capacity that's because we were charging it from absolute zero percent now I'm going to go ahead and do a discharge test at 1 amp to see how much capacity we have on these batteries. Alright, it's been several hours and this discharge test is done. These two are close to 4.7 amp hour and these two are close to 4.8 amp hour, which is very close to original manufacturer specs, which is about 4.8 amp hour. So even though they are completely dead and discharged, they are still revivable and the capacity is still very close to the manufacturer's specs. Let me scroll through here so you can see. This charge is done. Current voltage is 3 volts for all of them. That's capacity. Now I'm going to put in my homemade Frankenstein charger so I can charge it faster. Ready? Boom! 7.5 amp total which is about 1.8 1.9 amps each and that's all i have for now folks thanks for watching and i will see you next time